Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 9.2 on Ubuntu 24.04 but the process is same on all Ubuntu versions. First open any web browser then go to mysql.com hit enter then click on downloads then scroll down see here we have the mysql community downloads click on it then click on mysql communities over then select the version see here we have the 9.2.0 for you at the time of installing if you are unable to find just click on this archives here you will find all older versions okay so go back right. select the version and select the operating system ubuntu linux then select the voice version see here we have the 22 24 and 24.10 okay so process is same but we have to select the type of the voice version okay I am on Ubuntu 24.04. If you are on Ubuntu 22.04, you have to select this one. Okay, select it. See, once you select it, it populated the list of the MySQL server 9.2 pack, Debian packages. Okay, instead of downloading all, just download this deb bundle. So, click on download. Then click on just, no thanks, just start my download. See, once we click done, see, it started downloading the MySQL Server 9.2 Debian bundle tar file. And also see here, its size is 495 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Now open terminal. Go to downloads directory. LS. See here we have the MySQL server tar file. We have to untar this file. Tar hyphen XF, then give the MySQL, give the tab and hit enter. LS, see here we have the list of Debian packages that needs to be installed. But before installing, we have to install following dependencies sudo apt install lib aivo hyphen dev makeup ipadic hyphen utf8 hit enter provide the password of sudo user type and hit enter i will keep this command in the video description we have successfully installed control a now ls install these debian packages to install the mysql server sudo dpkg hyphen i star dot dep hit enter Now we have to set the password for root account. Hit enter, confirm the same. Hit enter. See, we have installed MySQL server, but not this test source. Okay. But we have installed MySQL server. Control A. Now verify the status of the MySQL service. Sudo systemctl status MySQL. Hit enter. See, we have installed MySQL and it is running and enabled. Q to quit, control A. Now connect to MySQL. MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P. Hit enter. Then provide the password that we have set for this root account. See, we have successfully installed MySQL server version 9.2.0. Okay. We can also verify. Select version. See, we have installed MySQL server version 9.2.0 okay control a now if a list of databases this type of 
See, these are the default databases that comes with MySQL installation. Create a new database by running the command. Create database back. Now verify again. See, new database is there. Now switch to this new database and create a table. Use is the keyword to switch to database. Now verify the current database. See, we are in the bank database. Now create a table in this database. Show tables. See, new table is created. Now insert some data into this table. Insert one more row. Now verify the data of this table. See, we have inserted these two rows. Okay. Now verify list of users. Show users. It won't work. See, we can get the list of users by running query against MySQL dot user. See, these are the list of the users that comes with MySQL server 9.2 installation. Let's create a user. Now verify again. See, new user is there. Exit from this MySQL shell and connect with new user. MySQL hyphen u here give the username hyphen p. Hit enter. Then provide the password of this user. See, now verify the current user. See, we have connected with the user James. Okay. Now connect to bank database. See. Access denied for the user James to this bank database because we have created user but we haven't granted any privileges to this James user. That's why we are getting this error. Okay, exit. Now we will see how to stop, start and restart MySQL Server 9.2 on Ubuntu Linux operating systems. sudo systemctl status stop MySQL hit enter. Now verify sudo systemctl status mysql. See mysql is inactive or dead. Okay. You can also verify by try, trying to connect to mysql. mysql hyphen u root hyphen p hit enter. See we are unable to connect because mysql service is stopped. So start it again sudo systemctl start mysql. Verify the status again. See, MySQL service started two seconds ago. Control L, sudo system CTL. Just give restart here to restart the MySQL service. See, we have restarted or started one second ago. Control L, okay. Until now, we have connected MySQL by using command line client, but we can also connect MySQL by using MySQL Workbench or DBOR. Okay, go to Nita, DBOR dot IO. Then you have to download community edition. DBR Pro is the paid one, but this is the open source version. Then we have to click on download. Then you have to download this Linux Debian package for the Ubuntu. Then we have to install. And another tool is MySQL which Go to mysql.com. Click on downloads. Then click on MySQL community GPL downloads. Then click on then see here we have the MySQL workbench. Click on it. Then we have to select the operating system. Then you have to select the version. Then you have to download this Debian package. Okay. So after that we have to install same like sudo dpkg-i. Then we have to give this Debian package. Video 
we have seen how to download, install and configure MySQL 9.2 on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS version. For more MySQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.